Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to balance this reaction. This is barium chloride, this is aluminium sulfate, this is barium sulfate and this is aluminium chloride or aluminium trichloride, right? However, I will show you two ways to balance this reaction. Let me show you the first way, right? Okay, to balance this reaction, let me draw a table like this. okay on the left hand side or reactant side we have one barium here we have two chlorine here we have two aluminium here we have uh, three sulfate radical here sulfate ion here two three sorry three three sulfate right here we have one barium here we have one sulfate here we have one aluminium here we have three chloride right okay to balance this reaction, uh, I have to see the number of atoms from both sides. Here barium 1, 1, so barium is balanced. Here chlorine 2, but here chlorine 3, so chlorine is not balanced. Here aluminium 2, but here aluminium 1, so aluminium is not balanced. And sulfate 3, 1 is not balanced. Okay, let me balance the aluminium first. Okay, if I multiply here by 2, that gives me 2. These two must come before this aluminium that is here so i will put here two if i put here two the number of chlorine will be changed so i am getting here two times three that gives me six chlorine so i have to write here six chlorine right okay so now my aluminium is balanced but my chlorine here is not balanced right here we have six but here i have two so to balance the chlorine, I can multiply here by 3, that gives me 6. This 3 must come before this chlorine that is here, so I have to put here 3. If I put here 3, the number of barium will be changed, so I am getting here 3 uh, barium, right? Okay, so my chlorine is balanced, aluminium is balanced, but barium is not balanced. Here we have 3 barium, but here we have 1. So to balance the barium i can multiply here by three and these three must come before this barium that is here if you put here three the number of sulfate red, uh, sulfate polyatomic ion will be changed so you are getting here three right you are getting here three three sulfate radical right so sulfate radical 3 3 aluminium 2 2 chlorine 6 6 barium 3 3 so this equation is balanced okay so now i will show you the second way to balance this reaction so that you can easily perform in your exam hall right so have a patience i i would like to show you the second way now you have to know that this is sulfate radical right here you have 2 minus charge this is aluminium here i have 3 minus charge this is barium which have 2 plus charge right and this is chloride which have 1 minus charge so however this is the ba uh, basic thing you have to uh, bear in mind so let me write here you are writing here barium chloride right so barium 2 plus here 1 minus plus aluminium 3 plus here sulfate 3 2 minus barium sulfate barium sulfate plus aluminium trichloride right okay so you see that here uh, you have here 2 aluminium right to to balance the 3 times to 6 
3 times to 6, 6 plus 6 minus 7. However, to balance this reaction, you see that here you have 2 aluminum. So, you have to, but you have 1 aluminum. So, to balance, you can put here 2. If you put here 2, the number of chlorine will be 6. But here you just have 2 chlorine. So, to make it 6, you have to put here 3, right? No change will happen in the subscript. Just you have to uh, change the number of coefficients. So, here you are getting 3 uh, chlorine that is 6 right uh, now uh, if you put here 3 the number of barium will be 3 so you have to put here 3 that gives you uh, 3 barium now you see that this equation is balanced because here you have 6 3 sulfate here you have 3 sulfate aluminum 2 2 so by adopting this way you can balance this reaction in your exam hall so thank you for viewing viewing this video be well